Distribution transformers like the one that we are looking at right now, the main customer for those transformers is the utility company. And they usually buy these transformers in bulk. And when they try to uh, differentiate or try to uh, see from which manufacturer or supplier they want to buy, they basically, some utilities, they just use the unit price of the transformer. So we'll buy, they will buy from the cheapest company. However, many utilities, they use what is called the capitalized formula for the transformer. And in that formula, you have three components. The unit price plus a factor A times the core loss plus a factor B times the cover loss. As we know that the, these transformers, they have the winding and these windings, they will have current, so they will have the I square R loss. And also, they have the core, and in the core, there is both the hysteresis and the ED current loss. The question is, which factor you think is more important? The core loss, so the factor A that is multiplied, or the winding loss? In other words, which loss is more significant to the utility? The core loss, or the winding loss. Pause this video, think about it, and then join me to answer this question. Let's see if you figure out the right answer or not. Core or no load loss versus cover and load loss. As we know, the core loss is basically the energy that we spend or the power loss in the core material, in the silicon steel, which is composed of the hysteresis and the eddy current loss, while the uh, cover or the load loss is the one that we uh, consumed was the energy the heat that's consumed in the in the winding now before we answer this question which uh, part of the losses is more significant in the capitalized formula of the transformer price let's first understand a little bit of the physics of the core and the cover loss so how we measure the core loss basically we open circuit, usually the high voltage side, and we apply the rated voltage at the low voltage side, okay? So this is the configuration, so this is the watt meter to measure the power, and this is the power loss is actually uh, approximated to the no load loss because there is a little bit of winding loss. Okay, now, as you can see here from this configuration, this loss is dependent on the voltage, is a function of the voltage. Because we have very small current, we call it the no load current or the excitation current. This is usually three to 5% of the rated current. So there will be some losses in the winding, but it's very negligible compared to the core loss. So the core loss of the transformer is a function of the of the voltage. Now, let's go to the cover loss. How we measure the cover loss? We short circuit the low voltage side, apply a voltage at the high voltage side so that we will have the rated current. So we will have the rated current going through the, the winding. So this loss is actually a function of the current. So let me summarize. The no load loss is a function of the voltage the load loss is a function of the of the current now if ask ourselves a question which one is constant and which one is variable and knowing that where we load the transformers based on the load we switch on and off the load all the time so this is a typical curve of a transformer so you can see that at certain times we have high load and certain times we have a very load, very small load. So what does this mean? It means that the load loss of the transformer is varying. It's not constant all day. Sometimes it's at peak when, you, when the transformer is fully loaded, and sometimes it's a fraction of this when the transformer is lightly loaded. On the other hand, the core loss is 24-7 because it is a function of the voltage. So always the transformer is energized, regardless if we have load or we don't have load. If we have a full load or a little load, always the voltage is applied to the transformer 24-7. It 
that means that the core loss is 24 7. unlike the winding loss which is happens is varying during the whole day now with this understanding we can answer the question so this is the capitalized formula and some literature we call it total ownership cost or TOC is equal to a unit price. This is the price of the transformer from the manufacturer. This is the T0, which is the function, or this is the factor that we multiply with the core loss. And this is CK, or the factor we multiply it by the cover loss. And now I think with this understanding, you will figure out that T0 should be larger than CK or the core loss should be more important than the cover loss. Why? Because the core loss stays 24-7. All the time we have the maximum core loss, but the cover loss, it is varying. It's not constant. And these are some typical values for C0 and CK for different countries. And you can see here, for example, in the USA from 3 to 17, but the CK from 0.7 to 5.6. Germany from 7 to 11, the C0, but the CK is from 1.4 to 2.8 and so on and so forth. So it's clear now we understand that when we buy the transformer, the core loss is very important and for the long term because it is 24 seven, but, but the cover loss also is important and we consider it also in this capitalized formula. However, the factor we use to multiply the cover loss to calculate the cost of the cover loss should be much less than the factor we use to multiply the, the core the core loss.